Hello guys. Welcome to this video tutorial about TIA Portal and S7, 1200. Well, what's the goal of this tutorial? See this pyramid, that's called the Industrial Automation Pyramid. In the lowest level, there are a lot of electrical instruments such as push buttons, thermocouples, transmitters, sensors, and micro switches which can tell us, what output such as motor or signal lamps should be turned on or off. But we can't check all these devices simultaneously. Today's PLCs are often used to accomplish this task, PLC is short for Programmable Logic Controller, these devices help us to have an automatic control in industrials. Beside PLCs, some displayers, visualize industrial process for us. These are Human Mac-in Interface or HMI. It's maybe more than one PLC or HMI are needed, which can exchange data with each other over a suitable industrial network. So the goal of this video's tutorials is, you can learn how to program a PLC and its HMI to control and monitor an industrial process as a supervisor, and also collect your industrial process data to help your management of the process. Okay, in this lesson, after the introduction which has been told, we're going to know PLC hardware and its wiring. Then, we will show how a PLC execute a simple program. After that some basic points of its memory will be told and finally we will have a summary. These are my PLC and HMI of Siemens company which will be used in this tutorial. Both of them can be programmed with TIA software. Although, many companies produce these type of devices, fortunately, most of them follow the IEC 1131 standard rules. So if you can work with a PLC or HMI, it makes you learn how others work easily. The main part of these or any PLC station, is CPU. CPU is the written abbreviation of Central Processing Unit. Before starting, pay attention. This tutorial of TIA Portal and S7-1200 has been prepared, just for educational purposes. So to work with these or similar devices, you also need to read related documents such as their catalog. Ok, let's start with CPU. In this course, we'll use a CPU S7-1200 from Siemens company. The Somatic S7-1200 controllers can be classified to five categories, which in this tutorial the S7-1200 and 12C model will be used. As you see, there are some terminals behind of top door cover. Two first terminals are connected to a external 24 volt DC power supply. Some models need a 120 or 220 volt AC, as you see, these can be distinguished with AC word in model name. So, you must take care of that, because if your PLC is DC source and provide AC source, it will burn out immediately. For safety, Next terminal connect PLC body to earth. This CPU has a 24 volt DC to supply sensors or other instruments, which may be connected to it. Next, we have digital inputs. A digital input has only two states, on or off. First terminal is common for all other eight digital inputs. These digital inputs is of 24 volts and they need to supply. Last three terminals are for analog inputs. Analog sensors give us a signal such as 0 to 10 volt DC or 4 to 20 mA. Finally, maybe it's need to use a memory card, either as a transfer card or as a program card. Use a transfer to copy a program to the internal load memory of the CPU without using software, and use a program card as external load memory for the CPU. In front of PLC, there are some LEDs. In the left side, you see three LEDs. First shows whether the CPU is running or is it stop mode. Second determine is there any error in PLC configuration. And the last one is for maintenance request. In the right side. These LEDs will tell you which input is on or off. So, we have some green lights here, which will indicate the input is on. If there is no green light, it means input is off. Here you can see PLC model. Next are output LEDs, these show which output is active. And now, 
In bottom of PLC you can see LAN connector. The CPU can connect to an Ethernet network over the LAN interface, for example to programming device or connect to a HMI. And these LEDs shows the statues of this connection. Here are PLC outputs. This PLC has 6 digital outputs which powered with 24 volt DC. Some PLC outputs have relay output. As you can see, these use relay word in their model name instead of DC. And finally here is the article number of my CPU. PLCs usually can be installed on a rail easily. Also you can have others S7, 1200 modules beside the CPU with this connector. My CPU doesn't have any analog output. So I will need to connect to analog output modules like this. If I need another. It can be inserted with this connector again. The left connector is used for communication modules. For example when we have Profibus network. Also on this CPU, we can use either a signal, battery, or communication board. Well, let's see some points of PLC wiring. This is a simple wiring of my CPU with these information. Wiring of the CPU and others are pretty same. But we advise, for each device read its manual carefully. First, this CPU need a external 24 volt DC power supply to work. Please see here, we will use the internal 24 volt DC to power digital inputs. In bottom of CPU. With this LAN connector, CPU can communicate with an HMI or a computer. And to power digital outputs, we can use internal 24 volt DC too. This wiring is of syncing inputs. Here pay attention. In the syncing wiring, when this switch is pressed, a 24 volt DC reach to PLC input, but at sourcing type, 0 volt appear in PLC input. The reason is different types of sensors, PNP sensors use syncing wiring, because these sensors provide generally 24 volts in PLC inputs. In another side, if we're using NPN sensors which give us 0 volts, the sourcing wiring must be used. In this course, we will use syncing type. Here is another point. PLC can turn an output which need a low current. But what about a motor which need 220 volt AC and high current? In these cases, we have to use a relay or contactor. When PLC turn on this relay, its contact change to close and turn the motor on in this circuit. Ok, until now, we've seen my CPU parts and some points about its wiring. Probably this is the simplest wiring of my CPU, and also this is a simple PLC program. In next video, we're going to see how a simple program execute by CPU, and also some points of PLC memory will be told.